So, I'm sure everyone has heard the horror stories in the news about exploding vape pens from time to time over the years. The unfortunate part is when you read the headline, it might only say vape exploded, vape blew up, but they never really touch on the batteries and they never really get into detail as why the batteries inside the vape failed in the first place. The best vape shops will even advise their customers about battery safety or when is the right time to swap out those 18650s out of your favorite mod. So here's five rules to follow for good battery safety. First off, a disclaimer. It's always a good idea to invest in a vape device, which includes safety features. Go for reputable, well-known brands, Vupu, Smoktech, etc. Ideally, your vape starter kit or mod should have a firing lock feature so that you're not firing your vape in your pocket or bag, vent holes so that if your battery does vent, there's an area for the gases to escape and not build up. Protection from overcharging, usually built in the chipset of a reputable vape kit. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's go to number one. Use a battery case. 18650, 21700, etc. Vape batteries are not safe in your pocket. That includes the change in the center console of your car or your car door. Use the charger your vape comes with or an external battery charger. You ever wonder why your vape shops always offer you an external battery charger? Many vapers have the habit of plugging their vape kit into whatever charger is around them when the battery is dead. Your vape device is not made to be used with all chargers. The lithium ion batteries vape stores sell to power your vape has specific requirements and can easily be getting too much juice from let's say a 12 volt car battery. Do not charge your vape overnight. According to multiple studies, the majority of battery failures happen while the batteries are charging. This could be due to damaged batteries, overloaded batteries, along with a list of other issues coming from the vape battery itself. Using an external battery charger with safety features is the only way you should charge your vape batteries unintended. Replace your batteries if they get damaged or wet. The best vape shops provide you battery wraps for free. If you notice any issues with your battery, walk into your local Dragon Vape, ask us for a battery wrap. We won't charge you a penny, but a damaged battery is a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. It's never safe to use a battery if it's damaged or has been tampered with. An exposed battery or a battery with a tear in its casing can easily short in your vape itself or the charger. Protect your vape from extreme temperatures. Batteries are made up of chemicals, and like all chemicals, when they heat up, the properties within the battery begin to heat and expand. And with the summer we've been having, it's certainly a bad idea to leave your vape in the sun of a hot car with its windows rolled up. That's very bad for the vape. We hope this helps you make informed choices. If you're looking for a reputable online vape shop in Canada, Dragon Vape is a brand that is trusted by thousands of vapers across the country. We've been helping smokers find an alternative to smoking since 2011, and we're not slowing down anytime soon. We have one of the largest selections of vape juice and products in the market. If you're looking for any more information on anything vape, give us a call or chat with us online. Head on over to dragonvape.ca. That's all for now, and we'll see you on the next one.